today we have here our 2003 Dodge um, Caravan Cargo van. Um, we had bought these lights and apparently the quality wasn't very good because, well actually, I can't complain, they lasted over a year, two years, but look how yellow they got. They're rough. And um, I believe they were $40, $50, not, not sure, maybe, maybe a little more. So we're going to go ahead and try to polish it a little, sand it down and use some blitz um, and see if we could get them at least decent looking where the light could go go through and not be as blocked as it is right now so let's get started doing a little sanding and see if we could get it shining again we're going to start by taking some uh, 800 grit sandpaper um, we could probably go with a thicker one if it's rough but i think this one will do and we're going to start off by sanding the whole thing with it it's a lot better with an electrical sander, would have been a lot quicker than Odro, but uh, this will do. Main thing is get the rough, the roughness out of it, sort of like this. Just get the rough part out of it, get it in and It doesn't matter if it's uh, opaque color and that you can't see the light through. Once it starts polishing it, that'll, that'll get clear again. run your hand through it once you see that it's getting smooth that means you've gotten all this rough see here smooth you don't hear it here it's still rough so we're gonna continue sanding we're just trying to see what how we could get it on um, if we mess it up we'll have to end up buying a, a new strap anyway but um anything you could save and recycle is money in your pocket and good for the environment so Let's try to see if we could get her back to at least a decent level. Some areas are going to require more sanding. They're a little rougher. Like you'll still see that even though it looks like you've gone it, it still feels rough. Got to keep going there. You can wet sand it also. This sandpaper you could use um, with water. I'm just going this way right now, but you could wet sand it as well. Again, we're not trying to get a new, but just decent enough that the light could go through without any problem. The light's still going through, it's just a little yellowish. So we're gonna try to improve that more than anything. I'm not gonna do the other one yet. I'm gonna leave it so when we do one, we could compare how it came out to the other one. Now my dad always used to tell me, back in the old days, they used to polish with uh, cigar ash and toothpaste. They do a mixture and that would polish them clear. Um, I think we're gonna use some toothpaste on this one. That, that way we could try to see if it's, I don't have any cigar ash, but we'll use some, some toothpaste and see if we could get it polished with that. And that, that way it's something we all have in the house. And we'll see how that works out. With an orbital sander, this probably would have taken about two or three minutes, but so far it's about 10 minutes of sanding and it's almost there. A sand block, those punch models would be good too because you'd be able to sand put a little more pressure but in this case I think the less pressure the better you don't want to really scratch it that much just get that rough surface out of it okay now we're gonna get all the dust out I'm gonna use a microfiber towel I have 
I don't know if you need one, you can probably remove it with any cloth you have. I still feel this area a little rough. It's a lot, it's getting smoother. Okay, now we're gonna wet our sandpaper. Hopefully that'll help and give it a little wet sanding. At least that cleans the sandpaper. So there we go. And you can start seeing your progress once you wet sand it. Because then you can see how clear you're getting your light. And where you need to sand more. Again, it looks clear, but once it dries, it's gonna go back to opaque. So this is just we just wet it to see, make the sanding a little easier. But it does feel smooth now. All right, watch some of that sand off. show you both of them side by side so you can see so far the progress we've made that's the one we're working on that's the other one so even like that it looks way better so but we'll, we'll continue and we'll dry it up now on a dry cloth and we'll give that Toothpaste remedy a try. Okay, we got our toothpaste. Any brand will probably work. Um, I got this little rag. It used to be a sanding rag, but I guess a little sponge will do. So any little sponge will do. We're gonna pour some of the toothpaste on here. Just put it on there a little. I don't know how much the cigar ash plays into this so uh, we'll see if we can get the toothpaste to do what it was supposed to do what the recipe I was told by dad and grandpa let's try one section first Let's, um, I'm gonna wash this section off, see how far, how, how it's doing, and dry it, see the comparison. And we'll go from there. It feels smoother. Again, it's just toothpaste, so. And it looks like it's getting it pretty clear. I mean, that was very, I wasn't even there a minute, so. Pretty sure if I keep doing it, it'll get clearer. So we'll, we're gonna keep trying. Let's bring it down. if you had a buffer an electric one I do I just want to try it this way and um, go with the toothpaste you probably get a much much better polish but for now we're just trying to see if we could manually do it because that way if you can you don't even have to take it out of the car you could do it right over there on the car I think the toothpaste has done a pretty good job so far. Um, it's still not clear clear. I'm pretty sure the ash has something to do with it. But um, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the toothpaste a little more. Give it another hand and another wash and see how it comes out. Okay, here we have 
the toothpaste one and the one we haven't started working on yet. As you can see, it's not perfect, but neither is my work van and it looks a heck of a lot better than the way it was. So I'm gonna continue with the other one. Um, like I said, I did it using 800 grit, grit sandpaper. You could use 1200 grit sandpaper. You get all that at Amazon or your local hardware store. Um, and toothpaste. I went the way my father always told me and I love my old man and I love his ideas because apparently they work. Um, you could also use flits. I bought it at Amazon. This thing is great. I use it on my GPSs, my gauges. I, I love it. But um, if you don't have this, you could just go ahead and use toothpaste, which everybody has, and get pretty much a nice result with it. Again, if you had power, power tools, it'd be a lot quicker, probably a lot smoother. But I'm happy how it came out. And remember, as long as you're happy with the way it came out, it might not be as professional as a new one or as a professional does it for you. But you save some money and you got it done and you're happy with it. That really all that matters. So I'm always wishing you the best and one love.